what is up everybody once again it is time for funko news gotta tell you up front i put a lot of work into this one this was actually a tough one to put together and i got a lot to go through here for you all so please make sure that you show some appreciation by dropping a like on this video and i'm um, also sharing the video if you can very much would be appreciated but let me go ahead and get right into it here funko news for september 2nd 2017 so to start things off here, this is a holiday weekend, um, at least here in the States, Labor Day weekend. So that means sales. So uh, it's a good time to shop, you know, if you're trying to get some pops that have been kind of sitting around that you're interested in, or even if there's something that just released. Um, the Funko Shop has 15% off, really not huge savings there, but still, you know, it's something. So if you want something on the Funko Shop, you can use the code FUNKO15. And um, yeah, that's the easy way to get, you know, say a little bit of savings on that site. Um, Ferrera Market has 30% off all in-stock items. Now, there are some exceptions to that. You, you cannot get 30% um, off of a Chase bundle. And then also, you cannot do that for pre-orders because it's for whatever in stock. But still, 30% off, pretty impressive. Same thing with Toy Wars. They have 30% off. And for each one of these companies, they do have a code. But um, even if you can't see it well here on the screen, when you go to the site, it's, it's there on the main screen. So they actually do have the code sitting right there on the screen when you actually go to these sites. Toys R Us, of course, has a sale going on. No big surprise there. I don't know if there's anything particular to Funko. You'd have to actually, you know, go to the store and check it out. But um, yeah, as always, they have a, a sale going on for the holiday weekend. And then Loot Crate also has 25% off. That includes our uh, subscription crates, you know, for this weekend. So if you are, you know, somewhat interested in Loot Crate, this would be a good time to go ahead and check it out. Again, 25% off. You know, that is pretty significant and they already have a pretty much low price to begin with. And it does apply to whichever one of their crates you are interested in. So if you know about any other good holiday sales, please do make sure that you mention them down in the comments. So moving on to what is available now. One figure that uh, was listed and then kind of sold out, you know, somewhat fast was uh, Harry Potter with the Firebolt um, on Box, box Lunch website because it is a box lunch exclusive now it that doesn't mean that it's sold out in stores though if you have a box lunch near you you might want to check that out and if i get any word of it becoming available online again then i will try to um well basically what i'll do is i'll come back to this video and i'll make a note of that in the description now there actually is a link in the description to where it was listed on their site like i said it's sold out for right now but you may want to actually use that link and kind of check for yourself you know, just come back to it every once in a while, check and see if it is back up. And like I said, if I learn anything, I will share. Now, I know some people are thinking to yourselves, the Shining Pops have been out for a little while. Not in air free area, though, but they seem to be more widely available now at this point. And I kind of feel like when things finally make their way to my area, because it hasn't been so hot lately with things arriving um, in a timely manner. But, you know, that kind of lets me know that you can find this a lot more easier. So, yeah, the Shining Pops, if you are interested, you should be able to go out and find them. Also, in some areas, people are finding the Seated Sally and the Behemoth from Nightmare Before Christmas. These are the um, glow-in-the-dark variants, which are Walgreens exclusive. So, Walgreens can be very hit or miss for people, but, yeah, don't give up on them. Look around, you know, keep looking around and checking. And it, it also would be helpful if you actually speak to a manager about it as well. Oh, and also, when you're looking for these, do make sure that you check their seasonal uh, where they may have um, Halloween candy and Halloween items, you know, check to see if they are over there. And then also the TIE Fighter Pilot, um, this is uh, a Pop Deluxe, which remember is not a store exclusive. That one is starting to show up. Um, I believe it's hit some FYE stores, but again, remember it is not a store exclusive. So if you don't see it right away, be a little bit patient because remember Funko Pops don't always hit every area at the same time. So moving on here, this is a Dorbs that I thought was going to be nearly impossible for most most people to get because Crunchyroll had an event out in California where um, people that attended and paid kind of a hefty price to attend, they were able to get this as a part of that package. But now this Dorbs is actually available on the Crunchyroll, Crunchyroll website, which I will leave the link down in the description if you're interested in this. It runs $15. That's without shipping. So... You know, but I mean, if you're a big fan, maybe it is worth it for you. 
Next up here on the Funko Shop, and um, I'm pretty sure this is relating to Force Friday that they put up some Star Wars related items. So they had some patches, they had some stickers, or actually two sets of stickers, and these ran $5 each. And then they also had some pop tees that are Star Wars related, of course, for $15 each. Do keep in mind, 15% off on the Funko Shop this weekend. So, you know, if you're interested in any of this, it, you might as well go ahead and check it out instead of waiting and then ending up paying more. And of course, Star Wars has been a big focus this week because of Force Friday. And I'll be honest, it's been kind of a big mess in a lot of ways, too, because there was a lot that I feel like we knew about. And then there was a lot that was very last minute. So it's been kind of hectic. But um, before I get into talking about Force Friday, I do want to point out this sign here that was um, somebody took a picture of this in a Disney store. And you see it says there that all new Star Wars collections land at Disney store on October 27th. So that does include these Star Wars dwarves here. So towards the end of October, you know, we can be on the lookout for those Star Wars dwarves. Not sure what else may come out around that time, but you know, of course, I will try to keep you all updated. You see to the right there, the, um, the, the commons for The Last Jedi. I'm not going to run through all of those. You know, just know that those are available for the most part. There seem to be some exceptions in some areas. Some people are having trouble finding certain pops, so you just kind of got to look around and see what is available in your area. So moving on here, again, you see some of the commons here and also some that um, may or may not be available yet in your area. Now, one thing I'm wondering about somebody that owns these figures, maybe you could let me know the, the snow trooper here and Captain Phasma. To me, they don't look like they're any different from the figures from before. So if there's something I'm missing here or maybe if these there's some issue with these images, somebody let me know. But that's just me personally. I don't really see a difference in these figures and what was released you know, um, with the Force Awakens. So, yeah, like I said, somebody can maybe clear that up for me. Um, the Wobblers, I already talked about those before. You see that the three Wobblers they have that are available. Um, the Pen Topper should be available now as well. I want you to focus here with me on the bottom right. You see that they have some plushies that are on the way for an October release. And there will be some exclusive plushies, which will be Walgreens exclusives. And that does include that separate Chewbacca plushie, which is not a part of that plushie set per se, but that will be a Walgreens exclusive. So if you're interested in those, do be on the lookout for them. And then something else here that, again, you know, like I said, there was a lot of last minute information with uh, Force Friday, including these Praetorian guards. And if I'm mispronouncing that, you know, excuse me, I'm really not sure if I'm saying that correctly or not. But uh, these Praetorian guard exclusives will be Walgreens exclusives, but they're not supposed to be out until October. There is an exception to that, which I will address in a moment here. But uh, yeah, these Praetorian guard, the Walgreens exclusives are supposed to be up for an October release. Costco has three packs and four packs, and they're just common figures. Um, you know, it's not any exclusives per se, but them packed together is exclusive. So if you have not picked up some of the commons yet and you want to try to maybe save some space and save a little money, then you know, if you have a Costco membership or you know somebody with one, then you know, these might be a decent option for you. Seems to me like they would have wanted to, you know, say more about these up front and put these out up front, but now I mean a lot of people have probably snatched up the commons that they won't, but I mean, who knows? Maybe it's all part of the plan. Conspiracy theory, who knows? <laughs> um, there's also a lanyard you see there with the trooper that uh, should be available right now. And then these water bottles that uh, do not come out until November. I wouldn't be surprised if they show up a little bit early, but um, you see those water bottles, they are right now officially listed as a November release. So also there are some mystery minis and definitely some store exclusives going on here. So and um, these are up for an October release as well. And you see they have Walmart exclusives which do include a Resistance BB unit, Kylo Ren unmasked, and a Praetorian Guard. And then for GameStop, they have an exclusive version of Ray, the First Order execu Executioner, excuse me, and Pork with the Wings open. And then Walgreens has exclusives as well. They have another um, exclusive Praetorian Guard. Um, there's a name there. I'm sorry. I have no idea how to pronounce that name. It looks, looks like Ka'ai Drenali. I'm not sure. And um, Holographic Snoke as well. Okay, so yeah, if you're trying to get the full set, it's going to be definitely a challenge there. 
Still on Star Wars, people. I told you there's a lot going on with Star Wars and a lot that was last minute. So Porg, there are... I'm not even sure how many different versions of Porg there are. It's got to be like five, six, seven, who knows. But um, Hot Topic had two exclusive Porgs, which unfortunately to say, I mean, if you're looking for those, it's going to be slim chances. I think they're pretty much sold out. And I know a big part of the reason why is because there was a Chase variant as well. And I, I kind of feel like there might have been a lot of Hot Topics that did not set limits. You know, so... Yeah, though those sold out pretty quickly. If they get listed again, I will try to update you all on that, especially if they are available online. You know, I'll try to update you all. But if they get listed again, I have a feeling they're going to sell out very, very quickly. So, you know, I would kind of keep an eye on Hot Topics website and maybe check back with your store even to see if they get another, you know, a restock. Um, Porg with the spread wings, the Target exclusive has also seemed to um, sold out in most areas. Again, like I said, a lot of people went out and snatched up these Porg figures. Um, Princess Leia, I, ac I actually was not sure that if she had uh, released or not. And uh, same thing with Kylo Ren, the Princess Leia being a Walmart exclusive, Kylo Ren, and this of course Kylo Ren mask being a Toys R Us exclusive. But apparently they did release because I see a lot of them on eBay. So um. I feel like they may be sold out in some areas, but at the same time, some of these figures may not have reached certain areas yet. So I'm just going to say what I always say. Don't completely give up hope yet and don't go, do, you know, please don't go run and pay a ridiculous price for a figure. Kind of give it a moment and see if there are any restocks that happen. And like I said, I will try to do my best to update you all and you all make sure you do your part as well. If you really want these figures, keep checking the websites, keep checking the stores. You know, if you really want them, you got to put in that work. So some figures that should be available because they were available at the time of this recording. All of these were listed online with their respective stores because these are exclusives here. So you see the Resistance BB unit, which is a Walmart exclusive, is available online. The BB9E box lunch exclusive, which is a Chrome figure, pretty nice looking one. That's available on box lunch website. Um, the GameStop exclusive DJ is available. Then you have that two pack, it's actually two commons, but they have BB-8 and BB-9E together. That is a Best Buy exclusive. And then the Flock Chewbacca with him holding Porg, that is a FYE exclusive. So I'll say again, and let me stress this, at the time of this recording, all of these are available online. And I do have the links down in the description. Now if you go to the site and it's not there or it's sold out, I mean, I, I don't control that, but... You know, like I said, at the time of this recording, all of these were available. And I'm actually kind of surprised Chewbacca has not sold out yet, but maybe they did produce them in, in good numbers. Now, I want you to see something here because when I went to Walmart, I went to Walmart just yesterday and I saw a good number of the Resistance BB units. But whoever stocked these, obviously they know nothing about Funko because... Almost every box was just really smashed up. And it seems like what they did is um these shelves are not really the right quite the right height to really have two pops stacked on top of each other where they can kind of freely move around. So yeah, this person they basically just crammed them in there so they were pretty much bent up all around the box, or definitely on the sides, especially. So yes, that that's frustrating. And I mean, you know, like I said, some people they just don't know about Funko, so they don't realize that most people tend to be inbox collectors and they want to protect the box. And by the way, I got to point something out as well. If um, if you're that type of person that gets annoyed by Funko Pop collectors, you know, stressing over the boxes, I'll just say there's a lot more important things that maybe you could focus on because, um, you know, for every collector that gets tired of finding damaged boxes, I, I feel like there's also somebody that's complaining about it that could be doing something maybe more productive. So, yeah, I mean, some collectors are in box, some are out of box. It's really not a big deal. But, you know, it is a shame for in box collectors when you do come across this much damage. So, like I said, there's an exception with the Praetorian Guards. Pop Culture has an exclusive two pack of the Walgreens, I mean, here in the States, of course, there'll be Walgreens exclusives. They actually have this two pack available right now. It does say in stock, but keep in mind with Pop Culture, it's an Australian based 
website so they can't go against store exclusivities here in the states and um really canada as well they can't go against that so you notice there it has rs that means restricted so they cannot ship this two pack to north america but for those of you outside of north america if you are interested um you might want to go to pop culture and check this out um and i do want to point out something else here because i know a lot of people are wondering when more New York Comic Con exclusives are going to be revealed. As far as Star Wars is, is concerned, the day is supposed to be Tuesday. So this upcoming Tuesday, there are supposed to be Star Wars New York Comic Con reveals. And of course, when those reveals happen, I will share them on my channel as well. Finally, we're moving on from Star Wars. And don't get me wrong, I do like Star Wars as well. I'm not like a, a hardcore fan, though. And I, it was a lot of work to try to make sense of all of those Star Wars figures. Because like I said, there was so much that came out last minute. But yes, let's move on here. You see that we have Spider-Ham. <laughs> and I always thought this character was really an odd character. But, um, you know, as a Dorbs figure, that to me does make a lot of sense. I think he makes more sense as a Dorbs than a pop and this is a Walgreens exclusive Walgreens getting a lot of exclusives and I know um, I was talking to a friend about this what I'm gonna do very soon is to take somebody else's advice and talk to my, a manager at my local Walgreens because I want them to realize that I'm willing to buy these figures if they actually get them in I mean I don't want what's on the shelf right now because there are some damaged boxes and some figures that I have already so I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna I, you know I'm gonna actually speak to a manager and see uh if I can um, get some stuff ordered in. And I, I think, um, you know, most people, they, they're about making money. They're about satisfying the customer. So that's something else you all might want to consider as well. Instead of going in the store, being frustrated, and, and then just leaving. You know, sometimes you may want to speak to employees, especially a supervisor or a manager. But this one, no particular date on it. It just says, you know, coming soon for right now. Mickey Mouse fans got something to look forward to here, at least I would say so. Um, they have these Mickey Mouse Hikari figures. Of course, these are mini Hikari figures, but it is a two-pack, or excuse me, I, I'm assuming, uh, actually, actually, no, let me correct myself. Um, well, yeah, they're mini Hikari, and it seems like Funko, maybe I'm wrong about this, but um, I feel like they haven't been putting out as much of the original size Hikari lately, but I don't think they've given up on them or anything, but... You know, it almost seems like the mini Hikari is becoming more of a standard than the full size, size ones. But we'll see what happens in the future because Funko did say directly they are going to get back into the Hikari Friday releases. So, you know, of course, I'll keep you all updated on that. But, of course, you see here they have the red and black Mickey um, Mickey Mouse Hikari 2-pack. And, of course, they do have that glitter going on and everything. They're up for a fall release. I don't have anything more specific than that just says fall release for right now then you also see they have a steamboat willy mickey mouse here of course that's a black and white version of mickey mouse throwback all the way from his first appearance which is a fugitive toys exclusive feel like i haven't said that in a good while but um yes yeah, a fugitive toys exclusive that should be coming soon of course you know if i get the word when it is available then i will share so moving on here to uh some pops I'm glad to see. I almost feel like maybe these should have been out even sooner, but I, I'll say better late than never. Definitely glad to see these because Mad Max Fury Road is an amazing movie. If you like action movies and you have not checked that out, you really need to do yourself a favor and do so. I think it's one of the best action movies in the past couple of years, um, in a good while actually. So yeah, very good movie, really cool characters. And um, you see here that these are up for a winter release. Again, I don't have anything more specific than that. That's the official word from Funko. Um, I mean, I'm not going to run through every single character here, but you see they do have three different versions of Furiosa, including a Chase variant and a Hot Topic exclusive. Of course, the, Mad, the main character here, Mad Max, um, they have a Walmart exclusive. And it's kind of crazy how long he spent in the movie looking like that with that... Uh, I don't even know what you call it, like that guard around his mouth and everything. Yeah, he was he had that on for a good while within the movie. Um, there are some other exclusives here. I think it's interesting that Nux um, has a Funko Shop exclusive because usually we don't get a huge heads up on a, a Funko Shop exclusive. But yeah, there will be that Funko Shop exclusive version of Nux. And then also, uh, Morton Joe also has a Chase figure as well. So um, 
yeah, I, like I said, great movie. I really like these character designs, so I am looking forward to these. Haven't completely decided which ones I'm going to go for. May have to look at them up close, but um, there are some websites that do have bundles already, so you know, it's up to you to decide what exactly you want to get from this series if you are interested. So also with Mad Max Fury Road, they will have mystery minis. It seems like almost every, you know, franchise now is getting mystery minis, but you know, it's all good um cuz I do like mystery minis and um along with the mystery minis, they also have a rock candy of Furiosa, which I think is pretty cool. That's definitely a possibility for me. And again, winter release i don't have anything more specific than that if uncle gives anything more specific i will share with you all of course this to me is one of the coolest items um, of the week possibly the coolest all together really glad to see this finally ghost rider on his bike this is really fulfilling um some great desires i think for a lot of collectors because the original ghost rider is very pricey to try to get your hands on especially the glow in the dark one or the metallic one they are very pricey very difficult to get and then um on top of that you know not only are we getting a new ghost rider we're also getting him on the bike which is just so awesome um these are p p excuse me px previews exclusives which means that you may see these in fye i know they get px previews exclusives i'm not really so sure about other stores other than comic book shops people if you're a new collector please do not forget to check comic book shops as a matter of fact i've already pre-ordered my glow in the dark version of this figure and i actually pre-ordered it with my local comic shop so remember that is an option okay and you could get the glow in the dark version or the non glow in the dark version only thing that bothers me a little bit about the glow in the dark version they have a different px previews exclusive on it and it looks kind of ghastly to me i don't know why they put a different sticker on and why they made it so large you know to me it seems a little unnecessary but that's really not a big deal but again november release for these and you can pre-order they are up on various websites and remember you can check with your local comic book shop as well um if you're wondering about where you can pre-order i would say look around i'm not going to really vouch for too many businesses that I'm not super familiar with. Um, check with Toy Wars. Maybe Toy Wars will have it, and they seem to be pretty consistent. Um, you know, good with their shipping and everything. So you might want to check them out. If anybody knows of any other websites that you feel are reliable, you know, then share it in the comments. So the rumor mill. Getting into the rumor mill here. Not a lot to share as far as rumors are concerned. And um. Some of this is actually factual. You'll understand once I actually get into these here. So Forbidden Planet International, they actually have Tom Serve Crow available right now. And this is really a mashup character of two of the characters from Mystery Science Theater 3000. So I'm not sure why, but it seems like Funko is canceling this figure. But it's actually listed as available on Forbidden Planet right now and i am going to put a link in the description now i know what some people are thinking right away you know does that mean that this is going to be a valuable figure not necessarily just because something might be in small numbers or is canceled that doesn't mean that automatically that it's going to be very valuable because you have to think about the fan base of that franchise and how much does it cross over with pop collectors so you know, I know that Mystery Science Theater does have a, a following. You know, they have a following of uh, people that are really into them. But you got to think about how many of those people also collect pops. You know, so I th there's no telling whether or not this will be valuable down the line. But if you are interested in it, if you are truly a fan of the series, just know that this might be the only way that you can get that figure without paying a second market price. So, um, yeah, that's up to you to make that decision. I'm not guaranteeing to anybody that this figure will have some big value down the line. So next up here, I've already mentioned this figure here before, Lyanna Mormont from Game of Thrones. Again, hope I'm saying the name correctly. But uh, what I did not share is a piece, a little piece of information here that this may be coming to FYE on October 5th. Remember, this is rumor. Take that with a grain of salt because... You know, sometimes I get the word that a figure is supposed to be at a certain store and then turns out not to be true. Sometimes it actually is because Funko makes a last minute switch. I guess a different deal comes up or whatever. But um, yeah, just take that with a grain of salt because that could possibly change. As far as the release date, though, that is the first day of New York Comic Con. So 
if it works like um if it works like basically the San Diego Comic Con, I would assume that we will see releases on that day. So yeah, get the date October fifth in mind, and you know if anything changes, we'll you know we'll see what happens there. Something else I do want to point out, and this is actually factual because this is coming directly from Funko. The next wave of Game of Thrones figures will be focused on Season 7. I don't think that's a surprise to anybody. And it says it will include Daenerys in her white outfit. I don't follow the series, so I really don't know what that means. But I'm just making sure I share, you know, for all you Game of Thrones fans. So now... We're moving on into spoiler territory, so if you do not want spoilers for the latest Smuggler's Bounty box and the latest Legion of Collectors box, this is your time to exit the video. Don't try to skip past it because this is pretty much what's left in the video. So again, fair warning here, if you don't want to be spo spoiled at all on the next Smuggler's Bounty box, which focuses on Jedi's, or the next Legion of Collectors box, which focuses on DC's Most Wanted, Please make sure you exit the video right now. Okay, hopefully anybody that's still watching does not mind these spoilers. Let me go ahead and get to them. Okay, so Funko just revealed at least one figure that will be in the next Smuggler's Bounty box. And this is really not a surprise here. You know, we get the young Obi-Wan. Pretty good likeness in my opinion. Um, and I do, of course, like that he has his lightsaber. Probably would have been a little bit better if he was in an action pose. But regardless... This is a figure that was definitely overdue, and I think them putting it in a subscription box is that that works, in my opinion, much better than him being like some really rare, hard to find exclusive like they did with Qui Gon Jinn. So, um, and there is rumored to be another pop in the box again. That that's a rumor. I don't know if that's 100% true, and I have no idea if there is another pop who that character might be. So, with Legion of Collectors. I got to say, um, I'm so glad that I ordered this box. I almost hesitated on it, and then I was like, you know, I might as well stick with Legion of the Collectors, um, see how it goes. I was a little bit disappointed by the last box. Not so much their figure choices, but the quality. It really came down to just poor paint jobs, at least for the figures that I got. But um, as far as these are concerned, I really hope the paint jobs are good. I know within their video, Funko's reveal, um, Bane did have some factory dust on them. That's not a big deal, though, but... Yeah, I hope the actual paint jobs are really solid. Um, you see the items included here for DC's Most Wanted. They have a Black Manta patch. There is no pin this time. They have these stickers instead, which I actually like the designs of these stickers. It is a Funko artist that did them, even though it's not pop art style. But um, yeah, I like the designs. They're the kind of cutesy designs of those DC villains. And um, Funko did say they're going to mix it up from now on. It's not always going to be patch and pin, patch and pin, patch and pin. And a lot of people have been asking for that, including me. So I'm really grateful that they are listening. That That's very cool, in my opinion. Um, I really like this shirt as well. The shirt has multiple villains on it, including the Joker, Black Manta, Captain Cole, Lex Luthor, Ares, Sinestro. That shirt is amazing. I like the coloring as well. Definitely a shirt that I'm going to wear a good bit. Um, they also have a Joker luggage tag. Joker, of course, had to be represented. So... You know, I'm glad that it's a small item. You know, I'm glad that they didn't try to do another pop. I think it's great to give other villains some shine. And I do like the Lex Luthor, Lex, excuse me, Lex Luthor, Lex Luthor and his battle arm. I'm getting all tongue-tied here. But, um, yeah, I really like that. I know it's kind of cheesy to some people, but I think with comic books, there there's always some cheesiness to it. So I, I like it. You know, it, it kind of takes me back to when I was young. I really liked that battle armor from the first time that I saw it. And I really like this design of Bane. I am so glad I did not get the animated series one because I'm really not a fan of that design. I really like this design a lot more. He actually has the hose that gives him his um, serum or his venom, you know, into his body to make him strong. I, I really can't wait to see the size of Bane, though, compared to other pops. Hopefully, he's a little bit larger than that other Bane pop is. You know, we will see. But all in all, I think Funko really knocked it out of the park with this box. I cannot wait to get mine. Very cool. And um, I do want to mention quickly, as far as the collector core is concerned, I think their latest box is really good as well. I have not shared mine yet. Um, and I want to do a video talking about uh, the collector core again. Not so much a unboxing. That will be part of it. But there's going to be more to it. So be on the lookout for that video. I hope to get that video up um, within the next day or two. And the next theme for Legion of Collectors is Justice League. I don't think that's a surprise for anybody. 
So that's going to do it for this long edition of Funko News. I tried to get through a lot quickly there. Um, really hope you all enjoyed the video. Let me know your thoughts about everything that I shared here. What are you looking forward to picking up? Um, I feel like uh, there was a little something for everybody within this video. So yeah, let me know what you're interested in, what you're looking for right now, including on um, previous figures that I've mentioned. Um, I will say for me personally, I'm still going to be looking for certain um, Destiny figures and horror figures. So yeah, I, I think it's a good time to be hunting right now, even though still it's, it's rough in some areas. But overall, I think it's a good time to get out there and to be looking around. And don't forget to take advantage of some of those online sales going on right now. But that's going to do it for this edition. Again, make sure that you drop a like on this video. Really would appreciate that. And I'll talk to you all again real soon.